Hi, my name is Caitlin. I go to school here in Gate at Gateway. I will be going into my senior year this fall, and this is my starter project. It is the Simon Says Classic Game. So, oh, that's the starting sequence. So, um, it basically works by giving you a light and then waiting for your response. And then it keeps adding LEDs until you mess up like that. So now that you've seen how it works, I'll tell you about how it does what it does. So you start out with the power coming from the two batteries, except for the circuit doesn't actually turn on until you turn the switch on. And that's because the, the switch allows current to flow through the circuit, whereas when it's off, the current flows to nowhere, so it, it doesn't have a circuit to go off of. Um, once, once the power goes through the switch, it goes through the capacitors, which are on the back side, and the capacitors make sure that the, the current doesn't drop and that it, it stabilizes the current as it flows through the circuit um, and makes sure like the high frequencies don't throw it off. So after it goes in through the capacitor, it goes into the microcontroller. Um, the microcontroller is where the thinking happens, so it can tell the LED which LED to light up. It can test whether or not you pressed the right button um, and whether or not that you pressed it on time. But before it tells what LEDs to light up or what buzzer noise to make, it has to gr go through the resistor and the resistor, sir, uh, the resistor lowers the current so that the, the LEDs on the other side don't blow out when the current goes through it, so it kind of like slows it down in a way. But so after it goes through the resistor, it goes back into the microcontroller, and that's when the microcontroller tells the LEDs to light up or which ones to light up and it simultaneously plays the sound through the backside that corresponds to each specific LED. So then once you press or once it tells which LED to light up it waits for your response and the way that it's able to retrieve that response is each, each um, LED around it has two metal rings and each ring has a pin on either side, but they're not connected. And so the, the pins get connected and allow the current to pass through when the little black side on, um, on the back of each button presses down onto both of the pins. So then the circuit is complete and it can send information back into the microcontroller.